is government money set aside to help students pay for school, needy students. But now the Obama administration believes prison inmates could also benefit, and that was once the case some 20 years ago. At the Maryland Correctional Institution in Jessup, inmates already taking college courses behind bars got to share their story with the nation's education secretary and the attorney general, first in a group discussion and then with the public. My mother, she's proud of me. I, I haven't given her a lot of proud moments in my lifetime, but this is one that she's definitely proud of. Terrell Johnson is one of 70 inmates earning college credits from Goucher College. The program is paid for with private donations. It's a model, and one the education secretary says could work elsewhere with Pell Grant. We lock folks up here, $35,000, $40,000 every single year. A Pell Grant is less than $6,000 each year. But some Republican lawmakers oppose the Pell Grant pilot program. Among them, New York lawmaker Chris Collins. He says the Obama administration's plan to put the cost of a free college education for criminals on the backs of the taxpayers is consistent with their policy of rewarding lawbreakers while penalizing hardworking Americans. The U.S. Attorney General is among those who disagree. When you provide post-secondary education in an institution, you provide individuals with opportunities to better themselves and to better their communities. This inmate waited almost a year to get into the Goucher program. I'm coming up on my second year in Goucher College. Uh, last year I earned six credits. This year I'm scheduled to take six credits during this semester. More than a half a million inmates will be released from the nation's prisons this year. Goucher's among those hoping more of them will get a shot at college. College is about changing lives. All right, so Goucher College has a mission to transform lives uh, through education. So that's what we're doing. Besides Pell Grants, the pilot program would need the support of many of the nation's colleges and universities. Now, Maryland prison officials say in Jessup alone, there are hundreds of inmates hoping to get a shot at earning college credits. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News. Tim, thank you.